dive straight in and talk more about why I'm doing this storytelling bootcamp. Why? Because storytelling is selling. We all sell things. We sell something. Either you are selling your idea or you are selling your vision. And in business, you sell your product or your service. Because without selling, let's be frank, there is no business. No selling, no business, right? However, once you have sold your product or service or even uh, a vision or idea, you need to act and deliver on it, right? So storytelling is just let's say the first step and that's why also storytelling is just one component the first component of my larger program which uh, i named envision greater worth but today we i'm going to have a guest who is going to conclude this connie cruz who is a hypnotherapist and emotional transformation coach who actually works with traumas i met connie when we were um, in a group of coach Christina Berkeley, we collaborated for six months, but Connie and I continued collaborating. And now Connie is a member of my team and she's also going to contribute to my new program, Envision Greater Worth. She has helped me with my health problems because uh, health health problems also sometimes uh, come from uh, some beliefs that we have and uh, mm -hmm. in order to grow our businesses we want to be healthy and strong so connie uh, i will uh, stop babbling right now <laughs> are you ready to share your story thank you so much yes thank you for inviting me to join your boot camp and yeah i'm ready i want to share with you first um a little bit about my business background so that you know uh, what I'm about and where I started. I have to say that a uh, construction industry was never quite fulfilling on a deeper level, not because I worked on horrible projects. I um, actually worked on some of the most prestigious um, projects in New York, which was very exciting and I did learn a lot. And I also discovered my love for interior design, which actually became a passion of mine. So I'm very grateful for that. But the reason it was not fulfilling was I never really felt like I belonged. And as you might imagine, this um, construction industry is um, very heavy on the masculine energy. Um, so I constantly found myself not feeling good enough in so many different ways. And so I found myself triggered um, more and more and moving into all sorts of um, self-sabotaging behaviors. One day, senior management had decided to suddenly move me to another division. And that meant um, a new team, new clients, new projects. Without asking me once if that was okay with me, without, um, you know, without even considering if it would fall in line with my career goals, um, or even just giving me an opportunity to have a say, to have some say in this, right? I was truly questioning my own worth. And to make matters worse, I was also going through some serious relationship issues at the same time, which only added to this feeling of um, worthlessness or unworthiness. Like every fiber of my soul was like screaming for freedom because that was always what I've been aiming for. That was always my goal, um, to have freedom. Um, but I was kind of trapped and I didn't know how to get out. Now, luckily, I have always had the personal growth and self-development mindset. So I did a lot of the inner work over the years around all the things I perceived were wrong with me, um, also to understand why I was the way I was. And so through my healing journey, I discovered uh, hypnotherapy, inner child healing work, um, energy medicine, and all those modalities helped me uncover many insights uh, around my own childhood trauma and also how it affected my adult life. And, and then also they, they offered the, the healing that I really desperately needed. And in fact, that healing work um, was so life-changing for me that I felt this strong pull to want to learn more about how I can help people with this. 
And I remember the first time I connected with my inner child. I'll, I'll never forget that. And there she was, so cute, Cur curly hair, four to five years old, I want to say. Um, but her eyes looked really sad. And she also looked rather scared and lonely. And the message I got uh, from her was that she felt unseen, unheard, neglected and abandoned for, for a very long time. Just thinking about it, if that adorable girl was standing in front of me, physically in front of me right now, there's no way I could ever turn away from her. But I actually did um, for decades. Your inner child represents your inner wisdom, your intuition, your higher power. And so this connection um, to your core self really has the power to, to heal fears, to heal guilt, shame, and even addiction. And we know that fears are usually the biggest obstacle in moving forward um, in your business as well. And I just wish I had found those modalities sooner because there's also this aspect of precious time that Scott mentioned on Monday. Um, I, I actually don't know what I would have done uh, without having this purpose in my life. Uh, sometimes I would tell people or friends jokingly that I probably would have lost it. I mean, it, it really kept me together and it kept me going. And it was so rewarding and healing for me at the same time to help others this way. And that's when I knew I wanted um, to do this work full time. What a story to conclude. And I have been uh, listening to this story both as a an emotional human being, but also as somebody who teaches storytelling. And I observed how you crafted all kinds of elements in your story, but also you plugged into my story, which is the longer story of the, this entire boot camp. Like for instance, you at the big Quite at the beginning, you mentioned the word worth, which is the um, in, in the title of my new program, Envision Greater Worth. And then you uh, showed how it is possible for you to start your own company. Yes, it or is. Or how to be a member of another uh, business. Yeah. But not only that, what is my aspiration is to help people to build happy businesses so that you as business owners don't lose employees like Connie. <laughs> you, want, you want happy, happy employees for sure. Yeah.